Hey, Hustas, y'all ready for Sunday dinner? We're gonna be doing some pork steaks in the oven with some uh, uh, potatoes, russet potatoes. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do with these uh, potatoes, we're gonna put some olive oil over them and then we will get them seasoned and then we'll put the steaks on top of them, get them seasoned with the same seasonings and we're gonna put some vegetables on top of them with some Jamaican brownie sauce and we're gonna put these in the oven and uh, so let's get started. Let's put a little bit of olive oil on these potatoes so we can uh, get them seasoned. And y'all look what I found at, uh, I think it was Marshall's. Uh, I found uh, some Spanish smoked paprika. So we're going to be using this today as well. So... On these potatoes, y'all, we're just going to sprinkle just a little of salt, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. Y'all know I don't use salt like that. We're going to do like a, a, a tablespoon of black pepper. We're going to do a tablespoon of onion powder. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know already about me and this garlic powder and this onion powder. And the same with the garlic powder, a tablespoon of both of them, y'all. Now we're going to sprinkle some basil, maybe a half of a tablespoon of basil. And then we have Laurie seasoned salt. We're going to put like a teaspoon of this as well. And uh, we're going to put a half of a tablespoon of this uh, Spanish smoked paprika because we're going to also use this on the steaks as well. So uh, let's get that on here. Then we're going to get our hands in here like Grandmama and them did back in the day. And then we're going to wash them after we're done. Y'all, oh, I tell you, when you are seasoning your food and it smells like it's already cooked, you already know you are seasoning real well. And this before we are going to um, mix it all up. Oh, that smells so good, y'all. Oh, I want to put some... Um, beef bouillon powder in here as well because when it makes its juices I want a gravy so we're gonna put maybe a tablespoon and a half of the brownie I mean of the beef bouillon then we're gonna put this up we don't need it anymore so y'all ready 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 oh yeah and you know that olive oil just just um makes your uh, dry seasoning stick so well. You know, today, people do gloves and spoons and forks to mix their stuff. I'm an old school girl. As long as we got soap and water in between mixing, honey, you will be okay. You're not going to get food poisoning. You know, some things in the old days we got to keep. Period. Now, Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. Now, I got to show y'all these potatoes. Look how they're coated. Y'all know they're going to be good, right? Let's wash our hands. When I come back, I will have the pork steak as well. Y'all, we have some big old pork steaks, and there's three of them, y'all. And we're going to lay them down over these potatoes, but we're going to season them uh, on both sides. So let me wash my hands again, because y'all know when I'm seasoning, I want a dry hand and a wet hand. So let me wash my hands. Oh, 
that uh, hand soap smells real good. So y'all, we're just going to uh, season these steaks just like we did the potatoes. I'm going to put just a little salt just to sprinkle y'all. And y'all see it's not a lot of salt. We're going to do black pepper. Y'all know I like black pepper, right? <laughs> we're gonna do a half. We, we're just gonna we, we're just sprinkling y'all uh, the the onion powder and the garlic powder as well. We're gonna do basil. We're gonna do a sprinkle of the Lowry season salt. When I say a sprinkle, it's like two pinches, three pinches, and of course we're gonna do the Spanish paprika. And then I'm going to just uh, put a little olive oil on these steaks and we're going to rub that dry seasoning so it can be well all over the steaks as well. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Y'all see that? That looks so good. Look at that. And that's just on one side. Let's flip them over. Oh, y'all, that pepper getting in my nose. <coughs> oh, bless me, y'all. <coughs> mm, bless me, y'all. That's that pepper. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to sprinkle just this uh, salt, y'all. Y'all see it's not a lot coming out of it. We're going to do the same with the black pepper. Mm, it smells so good. Ooh, I mean, it really does smell good, y'all. We're coming back with the onion powder and garlic powder as well. We're going to get that basil on this side. We're going to sprinkle that Lowry's. And we're coming back at the end of with this uh, Spanish paprika. You know, I just believe that paprika, I don't care if it's smoked or whatever, I think it's just you know, for color. If I'm wrong, y'all tell me. We're going to come back with some of this uh, olive oil to uh, mix that dry seasoning. Oh, that smells so good. Make sure it is all covered, y'all. Oh man, that looks good. Oh yeah, get that on the side. These are nice size steaks, y'all. Now, I'm going to wash my hands once again. And now we're going to put our vegetables on top. And we're going to sprinkle with the Jamaican brownie. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Y'all don't forget to, uh, when you're washing your hands, get underneath them nails because some of that seasoning under there, you don't want to contaminate your food. I don't have nails, so it's easy. So y'all see what we're doing? Look at that good goodness. All right, dry seasoning. Where the top for this? I do not want to waste this olive oil. Now, y'all, I do have my dry seasonings. I have onion, bell pepper, and fresh garlic. This onion and garlic back here is for the 
green beans that I'm going to be doing with some sausages, a sprinkle of Italian dressing as well with the other seasonings. So let's get this dry seasoning on these, uh, on top of here. I want to start with the bell pepper. Man, it, I, I wish it was a smell of vision. <laughs> Scratch and sniff. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so good. Get them onions on now. Who y'all going for uh, at Super Bowl? I'll be in my new place. I'm going to probably do a pot of chili with some deviled eggs and some dip, some fritos with some red onions and some uh, shredded cheese. I don't know who coming over. I might have a couple of new neighbors. I don't know. Can't let everybody in your house, y'all. And so now we're coming with the fresh garlic. Just sprinkle that everywhere. I love fresh garlic. It is so fragrant I wanna just wash my hands y'all uh, then we're gonna come with some uh, this is what I use a lot when I'm making gravies y'all some uh, grace grace is good you know it's from Jamaica and uh, make sure you, you uh, shake it well and then I'm going to come back with just a little water. And I'm going to put maybe two, three inches of water. Not over the meat, but I'm going to pour it on the side because you don't want to wash off your seasonings. So, let's put a little grace on here. Because when it's done, it's going to have a beautiful color. Yes. Do not put hot water on cold food or room temperature food, y'all. <laughs> Don't do that. Now, I'm just going to pour this on the side. Dang, that smell good. Right, y'all. Now I got the oven on 375. I'm gonna bake these for 40. I'll come back after 45 minutes and we'll see what it's looking like. Uh, so we're about to put it all in the oven. Y'all remember these pots? <laughs> I, I would never ever throw mine away all right y'all so let's get oh i need to wipe this stove i do not like a messy area let's season it let's put this back if we don't want to ruin that i'll come back y'all uh when i'm about to do the green beans i'll be back all right, sisters, let's get ready to do the beans. Now, I have Libby's, two cans of Libby's green beans. Uh, I always rinse them, and I will make my own juice that I like. I do not use the juice out of the can. So these have been rinsed. So we'll start with a medium to high heat. We are going to get some olive oil in here because we are not going to have bacon and we're not going to have salt bacon. We're going to actually have my favorite Zumo sausages. I wanted something different, y'all. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon and a half of olive oil in here. And I'm going to get that warmed up and then we're going to come back. And we're going to actually, uh, I chop, I pre-chopped up the Zumo sausages in here. We're going to fry them a little bit. Then we'll add the vegetables in here. And then we'll get those green beans incorporated. And I told y'all, I learned this from my friend uh, Dion. We're going to add some Italian dressing. I'll tell you, it changes the flavor of your green beans. You need to try it. And I believe you're liking it. And of course, we're going to 
put some butter in there as well. We can, we, you know, everything is better with butter. People say it's better with bacon. It's bacon and butter. <laughs> bacon and butter. <gasps> y'all, think talking about butter. Let me show y'all what I decided to buy yesterday at the grocery store. I did buy some um, Sister Sherbet's rolls. I know a lot of y'all know about these, these rolls. They are bomb. I purchased uh, some Lando Lakes honey. I've never had this before. I hope it's good. We will be having this with dinner as well. Okay, y'all. So, let's add. Oh, yeah. They ready. Let's add these sausages. We will let them fry up till they get a little brown. Y'all hear? So we'll let these sit here. I'm thinking I want to do um, a, a small pot of rice, but I got those potatoes. I got the green beans. We got the meat. I I just think if that gravy is really looking good, y'all, I might, you know, off camera, I might do a cup of rice. I don't know. But let's get this done first. So again, y'all, we have two cans of, uh, and I believe that you can also do fresh green beans if that's what you like. I don't do anything frozen vegetables at all. Now, sometimes... Uh, if I don't have mom's okra from her garden, I will buy some uh, frozen okra, but that's the only thing I buy frozen when it's, you know, when it's vegetables. All my vegetables are fresh or canned, but I don't use any of the juices from any cans as well. I rinse them all. Oh, yeah, we're going to add a little chicken broth in here, too. Man, these some good sausages. This is the Zumo Anduli or Anduli or however you say it. Uh, the ones I love so well with my, um, oh, that smells good. Oh, goodness. The ones, whoo, the ones I love so well with my, my uh, soul food ball, soul food, my seafood ball. Y'all, these smell absolutely delicious. And about a couple of minutes, we're going to go ahead and add in our onion. And we will cook them for about two minutes till they get uh, a little translucent. And then we'll go ahead and add the garlic until it gets a little aromatic. And then we'll add in the green beans, the butter, and the rest of the seasonings as well. Oh, y'all, those smell so, so good. So good. i tell you one thing. I'm following a few... Um, YouTube cookers, men and women, and I'm learning so much. Now, I know I am a home cook, and I can cook my bajuzi out. I can. But I'm still learning so much from some of our African-American people that is truly cooks. I tell you, boy. And I've tried a few of them of their food as well, and it is delicious. Like that air fried chicken. Mmm. That's the first time I had did that air fried chicken, y'all. And uh, I forgot who it was, but I followed their directions to the T. But, of course, not all the seasonings that they use because I like to use my own seasoning. Um, but it was perfectly, perfectly cooked. When I tell you, y'all, let's add these onions. Oh, this smell good in here. Now, when I do this, oh, my goodness. I want to add that pepper, but I also like to grind my pepper just on the onions, y'all. It's just a, a different flavor it gives. You know, it's like layering your, your flavors. Only do pepper, y'all. Only, only the grind pepper. Mmm, that smells so good. Them sausage and onions. Man, you can put this, get some eggs in here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that smells good. And in one minute, we will be adding the fresh garlic and the host of the other goodness in here. Hey, hey. I w can y'all see it? Do I need to put this down a little more so y'all can see in this pan? Mm -hmm, 
y'all can see a little better now. Huh? Y'all, let's get this garlic in here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my goodness. I want y'all to see what that pot looks like on the inside. Y'all see it? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, let's get some butter in here. We're gonna add like a tablespoon of butter and a half. I like butter. Don't judge me. <laughs> I like butter. I'm going to turn that fire down to like medium, medium. Now let's go ahead and pour in these green beans. And now let this soak up some of that good juice that's in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get them well incorporated. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's going to be so good, y'all. Now I want to sprinkle in some uh, chicken bouillon. Uh, that's like a teaspoon, y'all. Now let's go in with a half a tablespoon of garlic and the same with onion powder. We're going to come in with like a, a, a teaspoon of pepper because y'all know I'm all about pepper. We're going to come in with a dash of salt and we're going to come in with a half a teaspoon of a less than half a teaspoon of this because we don't want it salty. Let's get our Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a tablespoon of Italian seasoning in here, y'all. And that's it. We're going to let that cook down a little bit. And then we're going to come and we're going to add in our warm water because the food is hot. Hot water because the food is hot. I'm talking about warm. Hot water, we're going to let that run. Let's get this stirred around. Get all that good seasoning incorporated on these green beans. And then we're going to let them simmer on low for about 15 minutes. And put, see, you, if, I'm, let me let you see a close up in this pan. Because of the butters and all that, you don't need to add a lot of water in there. Y'all see that? You don't need to add a lot of water. So just put enough water uh, until it just covers your green beans. You don't want all, you don't want them swimming. <laughs> you don't want your green beans swimming, y'all. trying to save themselves from drowning and all that juice. Now we can put all these seasonings up. Now if I come back and make that one cup of rice, y'all do know that uh, I add all these seasonings to my rice as well. <laughs> I sure do. And it's delicious. Let's get that to a boil. Oh, that smells so good, y'all. And what I'm going to do, because y'all know if you taste your juice, you'll know what your green beans taste like. Let's rinse off this spoon that we got with that butter, and then we'll taste that juice to see if it need anything else. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, it doesn't need anything else. Nothing. 
So let me bring this over to you so a little close up. Y'all see that? It is coming to a ball. We're going to just simply put that on uh, on low and for about 15 minutes. Let's get this top on here. I'll adjust the fire. And I'm going to also do a timer. I do not want my green beans smushy. And I'll be back when it's all said and done. Thank y'all for looking. Hey, Hustas, this is the finished product. That's the pork steaks on them um, potatoes, y'all. Come on over here and look at these finished green beans with the Zumo sausage. Oh, my God, look at that. Now, come on, y'all. Remember I told y'all that I probably was going to do a couple rice? Well, come on over here and look at this seasoned rice. The completed dinner. There you go. And the rolls are in the oven.